to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. 12 rounds among light heavyweights. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. El Terrible is making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. He's coming down to the ring right now. Not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Good flush, straight Hello. left hand. He missed with that headshot. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, boy, he is stunned badly. He is staggered and hurt and could go down. Teddy. What do you got to be yelling for encouragement if you're the corner? Well, if it was a baseball game, I'd be yelling for rain. <laughs> right now, I'd, I'd want this stop. But what he has... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Watch the hook! Gets rid of that effort. El Terrible's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Hook! Hook! Lands a big hook! Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Gotta see those coming. Count down the final moments of this round. Good job protecting himself. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you gotta do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Don't doubt yourself. You can still win this one. It's like a whole new... He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. He scores with the left. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Scored well with the left downstairs.
Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin. But truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe, you kill the body, the head will follow. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. And banging away he goes. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. the question becomes after that knockdown and he has gotten up how does he survive so one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits have good fundamentals been put there you're gonna find out right now he needs them right now so he scores a knockdown in the last round now he gets to settle down and gather himself up, a bit. all right do you go after it do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that right. big, big Keep stuffed running. animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now, he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by El Terrible. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Keep moving. Keep moving. You got Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use a jab. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Blocks the headshot. Not an accurate hook at all. Unload! Unload! More punches! El Terrible is tying up for now after being knocked down. And that's what you expect. He's trying to buy a little time. He's not worried about winning this round right now. He just wants to get himself right so he can win other rounds. And he can be around. Oh, what a left hand. Hey, keep fighting. Just let's go. Clean shot with the right. Solid uppercut. El Terrible is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. There you go. You good? You all right? Breathe, kid. Good. Now listen. You threw a wide punch out there, and he caught you. Tight up. Deep breath for me. You're in control of this. Keep it up. Nice work.
We talk about it often, but jumping out and taking a lead on the scorecards can be so critical. He's done so in these first three rounds thanks to that knockdown. Yeah, he has, but it can also hurt you because now if he starts laying back and just waiting for that next big punch, guess what? His opponent gets right back into the fight. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Digging in with a left to the gut. And he engages in the clinch. Let's see some more head movement. Comes right back at him with a left hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. To the head he goes with a left hand. Let it go! Solid right by El Terrible. El Terrible's punch didn't come close. left hand big shot there he goes down in the later stages of this round he's gonna try to survive it was saved by the bell. Teddy, you've been in a spot like this before as a trainer. Right now, you know what? What do you spend time on? You want to spend time on telling him why he got in that spot, why he got hit. But first, you got to make sure he revives. You got to get him clear-minded. You got to get his senses back first. Don't stop. Don't stop. You got to keep working. You can get ahead, but you got to keep working. Keep your hands moving. Keep busy, and you'll beat him to the punch. Start of a new round, and it seems like a whole new man. Hard to believe that this is the fighter that was just knocked down in the last round. Well, he's got some of those great recovery skills, kind of like Arturo Gatti used to always have. You know, he was a guy that he could be batted. He could look like he was barely hanging on. And then all of a sudden, the next round, he looked good to go. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Off the target by El Terrible. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Mark there going upstairs. Ten seconds remaining in this round. <laughs> and
end of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was. And whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Nice! Move your head! And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Good left hand able to land. Good job staying away from the danger there. And now looking to hang on. El Terrible's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe to toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement. Here. Good, solid right hand lands. Good, smart, tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the ropes. Great round now, back and forth. After he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. seconds of the sixth round. What a revealing round we just saw. Each man was able to hurt the other. You really can tell how much is on the line here between these two. Yeah, they both came here. I mean, they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. How you doing? Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around the ring. And with the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Wow, is he defensively sound? Big shot, the right came clean. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He missed that uppercut. Good way to protect the midsection. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Beat him in a punch. You're not focusing. Don't let him get to you, kid. At the halfway point of round seven. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. You got this one. You know, many one, times two, we talk one, about two. the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches. But that's all you can say in this case, because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean. And you have that's to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Come on, cover up! El to 
terrible. Bang by a left hand. Get out there. Did you see that? Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Nice, nice! Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Go. Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Body, then head. Let's finish this. Where's your body? Hit the body. Listen, who knows how the ringside judges are scoring this fight right now, but I will say this. It's a close fight, no matter which way you have it. I know you have him up slightly right now as he's put together a couple rounds. This is a good close fight. Yeah, this is the kind of fight that goes back and forth, and if you want to keep it on your side, you got to make sure you don't let off that pedal a little bit. Well, Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come Hate back yourself. with the right hand. El Terrible is just a sitting target here now. I mean, you, you know where to find him each and every time you come on the attack. Yeah, he's very predictable. He needs to get on those feet a little bit, start to change his place in that ring. Right to the head with that right. Targeting a left hand down low. Halfway through this round. Uppercut! He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Where's Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Relax, relax. Final 10 seconds. That's a big right hand. Oh boy, what a break he just caught. The bell rings at the end of the round, saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. Okay, right? Now listen, you threw a white punch and it caught you. You tighten up your punches, right? Another round underway in what has been a very fan-friendly fight. Good return fire that time. Left and right, left and right. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Work the body, kid. Body shot. And Unload. now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. That's a huge left. Look at that. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So now 
the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. He just missed that shot up top. Focus! A stabbing right hand comes in by El Terrible. Able to dismiss it. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. Okay, listen. You can throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. There you go. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. A headshot blocked. El Terrible is showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually... Boom! Left hand comes home. El Terrible, big, big shot he just scored with. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Take a ball. Boy, it went down quick. Three, four, five. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. El Terrible's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.